Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're gonna start this little series about the quest for the perfect everyday pants. Uh, I say that because I uh, often try to look for different pairs of pants. And the first ones that we are gonna start out with are the war-torn pants by Victos. Quickly, just so you understand the criteria under which I evaluate pants, uh, pants for me have to be comfortable and flexible, right? They have to be able to move with me as I go about my life. They shouldn't bind or tight. So that usually means things like stretchy fabric, gusseted crotch, articulated knees, etc. Uh, th that's important to me because I want to be able to move and bend my legs and step up onto a truck bed and, and whatever. If I can't move in them comfortably, they're going to be out. Another important factor to me is having deep pockets on pants. I carry a lot of stuff, for better or worse. And it's important to me that my pants, I have deep, particularly the front pockets, need to be deep enough to accommodate my stuff. I will post my everyday carry video around the time that this comes out, and you'll see that I carry a lot of stuff. I post one every year. You can always go back and look at the other ones. Point is, I got a lot of stuff in my pockets, and so I like to have deep pockets to be able to accommodate that and comfortably carry it. Lastly, of course, uh, we're talking about price and durability, right? I'm okay paying a decent amount of money for a pair of pants if they're gonna meet all those requirements and on top of that be durable. Uh, if, however, there are issues there or they're too expensive and the cost doesn't outweigh the what you get, you know, basic value uh, evaluation, right? Then, then you understand. However, those are all the criteria that I'm gonna try to evaluate pants with. So with that said, let's look at the war-torn pants by Victos. When I bought these pants, uh, I believe they were $115. As of right now, when I am filming this, the pants are on sale for $85, and I will try to get this video out very soon so that if you're interested, you can buy the pants because they might be worth that to you. First, let's talk about the negatives. The big negative with these pants is my crotch blew out after about uh, six months of wear and use, and I didn't even wear them that much. Uh, I probably wore them I don't know, a couple dozen times within there. They were certainly not everyday pants. I rotated them through with my other pants like normal, didn't wear them a super ton, and one day I discovered that the crotch had blown out in the middle of the day. Thankfully, I was home all day, because otherwise that would have been awkward. Now, credit to Victos here. They did send me a brand new pair of pants. Uh, I, didn't, I emailed them, and I said, hey, this is what happened. I sent them some pictures. Is this covered under warranty? They never emailed me back. They never communicated back. They just sent me a new pair of pants. So credit where credit is due. I do have a brand new pair in my house and I am gonna wear them and we'll see how they go from here. Uh, however, I wanted to make this video because I'm gonna throw these in the trash soon and I wanted everyone to understand the journey that these pants have gone through. In general, I'm a big fan of these pants. They fit pretty well. Uh, I typically wear a 38 by 30. Uh, is kind of my pant size. I'm, I'm always carrying inside the waistband, so I need extra inches in there and or I'm just a fatty, you decide. A couple big pros about these pants. They do have deep front pockets, which I like. They also have a bunch of little hidden pockets like here behind the main pocket. On the cargo pocket, it is a button pocket, not a Velcro, so that's kind of nice. And again, car side cargo pockets are pretty deep, which is very nice. You can actually put internal knee pads in here. This is a little pocket that will fold up into this knee pad, and I put knee pads in here. I've, I've taught classes with knee pads in there, and it's nice. It gets a little warm, uh, just having that extra foam there. However, it's super nice to have a knee pad integrated into the pant when you're just on the range doing whatever today and you don't want to put on full knee pads. The other nice issue, which could be kind of a tactical ninja thing, but I've ended up liking, is it has this Velcro adjuster on the back of the knee. So that when you put that knee pad in there, you can perfectly adjust where this sits. And this wraps around uh, just, below, just above your knee, just below your knee, between your knee and your calf. And this locks the pant in so that it can't sink lower than it should. And the knee pad hits exactly where it needs to every time especially when you kneel, right? So I really appreciate that. I thought that was a cool design feature. Again, this might be kind of garish to you with the Velcro uh, showing, but I found it to be pretty functional and I enjoyed it. Victos, I have another pair of Victos pants. They're LEO pant, which I'll cover in this series later, but they have this padded waistline thing on the belt, around the belt, which is nice. Uh, they did it on that pant and this pant. This pant also has a proper amount of belt loops, right? I think it has seven full belt loops going around. So when you put your gun belt on here and you're gonna carry a gun and a mag and whatever, it's not going anywhere. It doesn't feel like it's gonna rip the, the belt loops off, right? They put an appropriate amount of belt loops. Almost all of my pants these days have that. That's super nice, uh, big fan of that. 
Victos also does this thing on the zippers where they have dual zippers on their crotch zipper. I'm honestly not sure why. I think one zipper will be just fine. I don't think we really need two. Kind of weird, but if you're into that. In general, I am a fan of the war-torn pant. I think it fits pretty well. They, aside from this huge blowout issue, did hold up okay. Like there's no stains or scrapes or real major issues with them. And I'm not easy on pants. So I do appreciate that. Uh, at $115, I don't know if it's entirely worth it. Again, they sent me a brand new pair, so I can't complain on that. We'll see how long that pair lasts. At $85, it's probably a good buy. Uh, I might actually go buy another pair because they're on sale for that price right now. And I think that's pretty fair for what you're getting. Again, if I set aside that huge blowout issue, I think that'll be good to go. So I hope that's helpful for you. I hope you uh, wear comfortable pants. It makes a big difference. You, you, you wear pants every day. You might as well be comfortable every day. I hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.